loosened all the tension rods. Now I'm ready to take the counter hoop off, and it's going to look like that. And the, uh, I'm going to leave, try to leave the tension rods in there. I'm going to check underneath here to make sure that there's not a lot of dirt. You should probably clean inside this rim with a rag, which I'll do in a minute. Let's take a look at what the timpani head looks like when you take it off. So. There's the old timpani head, not in too bad shape, but I notice it's not holding its too much anymore. Um, this is what we call the flesh hoop, and the, the head is connected with um, some glue. And once in a while on a not so good head, the glue will come undone. I can see little divots and dents in the head, so it's about time we changed it. Why don't you take a look inside the bowl? This is good news, there's nothing in there. There's not supposed to be anything in there. <laughs> okay, so that's good. These are copper kettles. And the nice thing about the more contemporary drums, like this Yamaha drum, is that there's a uh, piece of plastic here going around the, um, the rim, and that needs to be very smooth and free of dirt and um, anything that might make the head squeak when you change the pitch. Okay, so press pause for a minute.